Hello everyone, so today I'm gonna make a quick video on how to use Oculus Performance Overlay uh, to optimize uh, your Oculus Airlink performance and find uh, bottlenecks in your setup. For that we are going to use an application called Oculus Debug Tool uh, that comes with your uh, Oculus software installation. If you left the settings uh, default you are going to find the application by navigating to your uh, hard drive go into program files um, here you will see uh, the oculus folder let's go to support and oculus diagnostics and here you can see uh, Oculus uh, debug tool available. So let us uh, open the application. And uh, I'm not going to cover all the all the different uh, settings you can change here, as it's a whole different topic. But in order to uh, enable the performance uh, overlay, you will have to uh, select um, uh, performance from the visible hard uh, drop down list you can uh, further configure the type of uh, performance overlay you want to see in your uh, vr games and uh, the two main ones i use are uh, performance summary overlay which is uh, enabled by default and also the oculus link overlay Next I'm going to show you an uh, in-game example of the performance summary overlay and how I personally use the information to tweak settings and uh, improve the overall experience. So now we are in uh, Dirt Rally 2 and uh, here you can see an example of a game not, not performing well at all. And the reason for this is that as I was uh, recording the video I, I really didn't uh, close any of the applications I had open, including browser, video editing software and a whole lot of different other applications. So the settings I normally play with, here you can see my PC is uh, really struggling. You can see it from the gameplay, but also from the numbers on the performance overlay. Uh, let's take the motion to photon latency, for example. Uh, which indicates the delay that your physical uh, movement is actually dis displayed in the uh, headset. So currently you see values of uh, 90 and above. What I'm uh, normally looking for uh, Oculus Airlink uh, is uh, values below 80 and, and the lower the better. Like uh, the 50 to 80 range is uh, the best. Uh, you can also see uh, negative values in the performance headroom metric and this is something we definitely don't want as the performance headroom metric shows the percentage of PC resources that are not utilized by uh, uh, VR processes. Uh, for a smooth gaming experience you should aim the performance headroom uh, always to be positive and ideally around the 10% area. Uh, negative performance headroom uh, almost always means uh, dropped frames and uh, this, is, this is exactly what you're currently seeing. Do keep in mind that uh, occasional frame drops are okay, especially during uh, loading screens, but uh, constant uh, in-game frame drops as you're currently seeing is uh, something we definitely should avoid. The final giveaway of a bad performance is the frame rate graph and uh, you can see that it's actually never able to achieve the target frame rate of 72 Hz that I have set. As a comparison point you can see a game playing from the same session where I tuned down the graphics and here you can see everything is performing significantly better. Uh, to sum up the Oculus Performance Summary Overlay, uh, uh, look for uh, motion to photon latency in the 
50 to 80 millisecond uh, area. The lower the better, of course. Uh, the Foreman's head room should be uh, constantly positive, so there would be uh, uh, room to handle utilization spikes. So um, somewhere around 10% uh, area is uh, perfect. Uh, avoid uh, frames being dropped. Occasional drops are okay, uh, especially during loading times, but uh, when you see regular application or composite, compositor frames drop, then um, it's time to tune down the graphics. I use a performance summary practically each time I, I begin to play a new game uh, to find the initial optimal uh, resolution, refresh rate and uh, in-game graphics settings balance. But uh, what about the scenarios where um, uh, the overall air link uh, performance is bad and no matter what you do, uh, the, the in-game performance is suffering. For these specific scenarios, uh, I tend to use uh, the Oculus Link uh, performance overlay, which I'm going to demonstrate next. So here we are in the Oculus Air Link home environment with the overlay enabled. If you're having general Air Link performance issues, uh, the first graph on the left can potentially give you a good idea on what is actually going on by showing the real-time encoding, transfer and decoding latency. With AirLink, the performance issues are quite often caused by network, network latency, uh, which is uh, marked by the green line on the graph. Ideally, you should aim for uh, stable values around, uh, let's say, 5 milliseconds range. Uh, if the latency is uh, significantly higher or has occasional peaks where lagging happens, and then you should turn your effort into troubleshooting and optimizing your network setup. Uh, when your network latency is okay, but you see high values shown for the encoding latency, uh, which is the um, red line on the graph, then most probably your graphics card or PC in, in general is the bottleneck. Uh, the first thing I would personally look into is the graphics card drivers. And uh, finally, when it comes to the decoding latency, you should know that um, decoding actually happens in the headset itself. So actually, I'm not sure if there's much you can do besides uh, restarting or in the worst case, uh, factory resetting the headset. Now you might be thinking this is all nice, uh, but how do I actually solve the issues I'm currently having? And to help you out, I have included um, some links to, to articles I have written, which you can find in the video description below. So, probably the most useful one is uh, an article specifically on air link uh, lagging issues. And uh, uh, it will guide you through the most common and not so common steps uh, and issues uh, there might be. So the basics that uh, use an uh, Ethernet cable to connect your PC and uh, um, a router. You should use a 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi network. Uh, be close to the router. How to uh, fine-tune the router settings. Eliminate um, leftover settings from um, Oculus Link, optimal performance. Many of the users that uh, are previous um, Oculus Link users faced uh, severe lagging issues when they came to um, Air Link because they have uh, uh, modified their uh, debug tool settings, specifically encode bitrate, which didn't go too well with uh, Air Link. So go through these steps. Uh, measure the results with the performance overlay and uh, see if you can um, 
find any improvements to your performance. Uh, another thing is that uh, your actually your router might be the root co cause of the problem, and um, uh, for that reason specifically, I have created um, a full step by step uh, video tutorial and uh, also an uh, article uh, wrote an article how you can uh, set up a cheap uh, $40 router for Airlink and for my personal use case it has worked uh, very well I'm very happy with it so you might find uh, useful uh, nuggets of information from here uh, then there's also the uh, virtual desktop optimizing article here, here again you can find some um, tips on how to generally um, interpret uh, overlay metrics uh, why, uh, why you should use a 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi network and just, just other useful um, information that I really think um, could help you and uh, finally there's a general uh, frequently asked questions article I did again that um, might clarify some things and uh, probably help you a bit so that's it from me and I hope I really do hope that you are able to resolve your issues you're having and in case you have uh, any questions, uh, feel free to ask them in the comments of this video. Okay, bye-bye.